so what we're looking here is the uh, four by four. Actually, I think this is a I think this is a larger table. Um, I think this is a six by four table. And actually, you know, I haven't done six by four tables in so long. I don't remember. Uh, I think it's a six by four table, but what we've done here is using the cardboard, we've quadranted it off. We've divided it off to show a three by three table. And why? Because um, we've talked on many occasions or we have had videos and discussions about using small table uh, games. Two by two was the smallest we could get for a skirmish action on a 172 scale or 172 in, um, infantry scale. It was skirmish, but... Uh, so that's a very personal, uh, interpersonal game. It's it's only on a two by two table. Um, it's extremely like Stalingrad personal. Uh, the 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 in, the intensity is there, and it's it the the challenge is to make it playable without being so intense because it's one man equals one man kind of stuff. Um, so this is kind of a, a, mix, a larger compromise where we go to a three by three table and I've just got part of the cardboard thrown out there to show the, the basic difference between a big table, six by four, uh, to a, a three by three. And that's what this kind of represents. Um, and, uh, as we've said before, the challenges are, uh, the same, um, for the distance of the of the uh, camera from above looking down, um, the challenge is that the ceiling height is a impediment to getting everything in the shot. Um, if the and ironically, if the ceiling was higher, it might be easier to get the aspect ratio uh, of the image to be more manageable. With the lower ceiling, just call it a normal height ceiling, um, you have challenges for getting everything in the shot without this extra stuff um, left and right, or top and bottom as the case may be. And that's what we have here, because we have a limitation of how uh, high we can get above the game table. Right now, this is the maximum. And so what would happen if I had a higher ceiling? It, it ironically would be more manageable. Well, what's the opposite of a higher ceiling? A lower table. Uh, so uh, how can you ha have a lower table? Well, you can't. Table is a table. So what's needed here to uh, mitigate this camera aspect ratio thing shooting down on the game table is you have to have adjustable legs on your game table because you want a playable height. But you also want a video height, and uh, that's what game that's what tables need. They need adjustable legs to go up and down, uh, roughly ten to twenty inches. Uh, because if I remember the calculations, uh, which is to say the fiddling around, uh, the uh, the uh, hit and miss, the trial by error, that kind of thing. Uh, I think it was like 20 inches. I had to lower the table 20 inches to get the proper uh, features, if you can call it that, that I wanted out of the use of the camera. A lot of this has to do with the kind of camera, of course, and uh, other other things like lighting, which is really important. And what we see here is the Microsoft LifeCams uh, uh, accuracy again. And I'm, I'm, I know I've said this before. But I have to admit, there's just the uh, Microsoft uh, years and years ago absolutely hit the nail on the head when they made the Microsoft LifeCam camera. It's just absolutely, and the the autofocus the inherent in it is perfect. And I don't understand how any other uh, webcam company could not have just simply replicated this. I mean, good Lord. Uh, the As you can see here, the top left-hand corner, my other Microsoft Life Cam is looking right at that APC. And unfortunately, I haven't got it engaged, so I can't switch over to it. But it's looking at that hover APC, uh, hovercraft. And uh, uh, it's, it's absolutely incredible, the detail. And that's like four inches away from it, maybe three inches away. Um, and it's in perfect focus. So, unbelievable. Anyway. 
So that's what this was about. This video was about the uh, the whole use of uh, looking down camera business and how to tweak it and how to get it right and what kind of camera to use and the lighting, which is the key here, um, which is really the whole point, the the lighting and how it works. And um, so what, do, what have I got for lighting? Well, is as this is a basement scenario, it's my office, um, what I have is track lighting. And of course, I tried to find the best track lighting I could. Uh, well, the one, the, the track lighting with the best features, right? Uh, adjustable lights, uh, left and right, uh, up and down. Um, and basically, uh, a spotlight, but not too much of a spotlight. Uh, feature now, there are other lights, uh, styles of light that you can clamp onto the uh, track lighting because it's the kind of track lighting that is becoming ubiquitous these days. It's just simply a band of metal uh, that the lights are uh, clamping onto, and uh, you know, so it's not a big deal to move them up and down the uh, the uh, track, if you will. And so you can reposition stuff and reposition lights. And here we can see that the in the middle of the uh, game table, there's a little bit of a bright spot as opposed to the bottom of it. And that's probably exactly right because as it happens, I, t I turned around to look at it, as it happens, this game table is actually pulled out a little too far from the wall uh, for the track lighting's position. And uh, it needs to actually be pushed toward the top as you're looking at it here so that the lights uh, can be used better. Because right now the lights are at their maximum declination uh, and they can't turn down. They can't point down any more than they are right now. So that the, the game table has to move to the north, if you will, uh, in order for, for me to use more of that lighting um, the, 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 the changes or the uh, 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 I was going to say azimuth, but the, uh, the uh, changes to the, to the light fixtures, because uh, right now they're at their maximum declination. That's like they're at 100% looking down. So the game table has to move north so that the lights uh, will hit that bottom of the game table, because right now I, I can't get it to go any further. And that's only because of the fact I needed to get around the table which is another important thing to remember. So that was a really long segment, which was supposed to be like a minute. <laughs>